the Beef Grenade. Burn a Patty is one of the most popular outdoor games among kids. The recipe is simple. They dump some expired beef on the asphalt and cover it with a plastic bag. Then they wait for 10 minutes, after which the bravest kid sticks a match with its head up in the middle of the plastic bag and lights it. A beef grenade works on almost the same principle and will help open locked doors, break robots, or destroy asteroids. So I guess if I looked in here, I might know that it, yeah, it probably wouldn't help with turret. Although, it does say required for destructions. Hmm. Welcome back to Breath Edge, everyone. Oh, yes, very inspirational. Hmm. Beep, 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 as quoted by Leonard Nimoy. Indeed. So, we have yet another lovely little secret base to get exploring. I'm sure that this one will be a bit less distressing than the last one. I mean, the secrets can't get any more disturbing as we go deeper. No, that that never happens. That's not at all how this works. This is certainly a more officious looking one. More military looking, yes. First aid kit, lovely. All these little cleaning bots running around. This guy doesn't even look like he's really hurt, and there's a detailed plan of the habitation module. Hmm? Ah, just the habitation module, you say? Okay. Don't I already have a habitation module? Medium habitation module. I gotcha. As versus a small one. Well, I mean, I, I, I guess, I guess it's already been proven that different bubble planets. That's amazing. I want that. Why can't I take that? That would be an amazing wall covering. But yes, it's been proven that different types of uh, module will take different types of uh, interior compartments. So I suppose that if I want to make a larger bedroom, I'm going to need that. But why would I? I? I'm fine with my tiny little bunk. It works. It's functional. are your secrets, tiny little cleaning robots? What do you hold? Yeah, these guys don't look like they were seriously hurt or anything. I don't see blood splatter. There's oxygen in the area, so what killed these guys? Smoking, obviously. Shouldn't that say no carrot? The sensors couldn't get everything. Both these doors? Yeah. Well, I won't say no to more refined metal. Certainly coming out ahead of the game on the metal score in this one. Just give that a poke. Even though my suit probably will prevent damage. Best not risk it. Yeah, see, these guys look more like they were killed by something. Most likely the passenger died because of a harmless toy that clogged the air outflow. Sometimes a dust collector is still worth cleaning, although this leads to interesting design solutions. Yeesh. Grumpy bear indeed. A Grumpy's collectible toy. This specimen has been inside the vacuum cleaner, and who knows where else. However, it's still white in color and is completely intact. Now that's what I call high quality. Yeah, they don't make him like this one very often. Well, if he's that high quality, maybe we can make armor out of him. Broken vacuum cleaner. Okay. I, I guess I just get the blueprint for free then. Sweet. I'll have to look in the processor and see. A plan of the service module. And a small service module versus the medium one. Okay. Yeah, I'll have to take a look at that in the uh, in the old processor and see if that's different than my current jet bike. Duty tables. Cursive I can't read. Classified. Oh, I can't crouch. It looks like it's gibberish anyway. This place is neat. Whoa. Automatic maintenance team. I wouldn't touch them unless necessary. Yeah, yeah. 
Well, I mean, honestly, that's a rule that's viable for manual maintenance, seems to, you know. They tend not to, uh, not to appreciate if you just come up and start pawing their face. I know that from painful experience. Hi. So, you friendly? Yeah, he's looking pretty friendly. Maybe I should have brought a few more beef grenades with me. Eh, we'll be fine. Hmm. Well, it's safe for me. I'm all tinseled up. Doesn't look like there's really anything worth it in there, but still. It's always good to know that... Hmm. Just nothing for it but to break the door down? That's probably gonna piss off the robots. The door is being repaired faster than your attempts to break it. We need to get rid of the maintenance team somehow. No, I'm winning. Well, I was winning. Okay, this is gonna piss off the robots. No, I guess they're pacifists. I'm gonna need a lot of scrapper power, though, to get rid of all of them. Yeah. Summon the team. Start bashing them down while they're doing their duty. It's tragic. It's absolutely horrible. I'm gonna need some more titanium to make some more scrappers. Do I do I have another one on me? I don't think I do. No. Well, let's explore elsewhere since I know for sure I don't have enough scrapper to handle this task. Okay, so. Only door out is that one. This big console, assembled literally from different pieces of trash, refutes the statements of its manufacturers about the impossibility of repairing their device by rule of thumb due to its incredible complexity. Wow. Okay. Extendo Slim? Wow! You know, we could go grab that Mortal Wombat cartridge and we can see what's up. Okay, so we're back out here again. Have I missed any other doors? Well, I guess that might be why there's so much refined metal in here, because they know you're going to need a lot of scrapper power. So let's grab some more titanium. And let's, uh... Let's go make some scrappers. And let's go scrap some bots. Those robots are so effective on the door, but they haven't managed the rest of the ship just yet. Hmm. Just a pity, I tells you. Yep. Yep, I'm gonna have to stop by the old homestead and make myself some tools. You know what? I'm gonna check out these prominences while I'm passing through. Let's see if- yeah, I'm starting to see heat waves. So I need the engineering suit to go into that area, most likely. Still, I'm seeing glowing balls of something in there. Hmm. So, you know, I thought I would check out this uh, transport platform. That looks like it might be doable. Maybe we can get a more convenient 
dock for our bike that way. Hmm. Hmm. Also, that jet accelerator is kind of tempting me now that I know that accelerator power is really valuable. Two inductors and two compensators. What do I need for that? Yeah, a lot of refined metal, but I got a lot of refined metal. Okay, let's let's get that going. Okay, there we are, and there's our inductor. And what else did I need? Just a ton of titanium. Yeah, a bit more titanium than I got right now. Let's go grab some real quick. Yeah, titanium is real local. It's no big deal to grab some. Okay, jet accelerator. Let's go. 20 minutes. That'll be a little while. Okay, now let's just make ourselves some more handier scrappers. Got three refined metal left. Let's use all of them. Yeah, that's looking like a reasonable. So that vehicle docking bay, what was that going to cost me again? That's a floor compartment. An inductor to aluminum and a compensator. So that would cost way too much metal, I think. Yeah, not just for a convenience. Okay. I think that's back to the old... Well, maybe, maybe I should make a beef grenade. Yeah, let's see if we can beef the robots. So that's uh, beef run on. Mm, EMP or beef? Yeah, just beef. So battery can of beef and metal. Oops. Just a real simple little recipe that'll hopefully deal mass damage to the robots. They're just doing their job, but we're just trying to survive. Ah, oh, yes, and I wanted to examine if there was objects, resources, what would it be? Equipment, items, tools... Where would that rocket bike be? Would it be under here, perhaps? Hmm. Where is... It said blueprint unlocked, and yeah, it's not in the research queue anymore. So where the heck is it? Am I just being blind, as always? How would one go around constructing... ...and bike? Yeah, it doesn't seem to be in any of these. Well, <clears throat> nothing to it but to get back to it. That looks like a large wreck. I know I've examined that, but have I examined that? That seems like it might be interesting. Too many military personnel per square kilometer. It's definitely a sign of trouble. Hmm. Or at least a bureaucracy. Looks like honey. That looks like a same model as Grandpa's ship. Just took the crash a whole lot worse. Won't 
Let's see, notice some fabric right now. Every little fabric ball is one fabric ball closer to that uh, engineer spacesuit. That looks like to be the only thing of real interest in this entire little nodule, other than that pot of honey, which is just food. And food is a problem that is kind of solved for the moment. Okay, now on to a rather unpleasant task. See, wait. Is there something new in that door? Can I get into there anyhow? Guess not. Yeah, a little bit of free water and food. Alright, some of the squad, possibly one last time. Where's the other one? Okay, I'm sorry, little ones. Good lord. That was so violent. So tragic. This was must be the central panel. Spare at least one. Okay. So we just need Someone to... Someone like to break lamps, because it doesn't look a bit like repair work. Hmm. Round lamp, you say? Well, we wouldn't want a square one, I suppose. Looks like there's nothing else in here except for that. So let's see what this is. Okay. On the first try. That was easy. Wow. You unable to lie. You could not just do something and not break something. Tell truth. Confirm. I kind of forgot about those guys. Well, let's tell them. I suspected the panel is a bit out of order, but judging by the sensors, an undocumented passage was hidden under it. Okay. Well, secret tunnel. Secret There's tunnel. There's no information about these rooms. Something happened here, although you've probably already noticed it. Yeah. Well, you, you presume a little bit about me. I'm busy kind of exploring... Hmm. The side details to notice what's right in front of me. Wow. The cause of death is a blunt injury to the head. Yeah, okay. A piece of molten metal. It looks exactly like uh, a piece of molten metal with a pistol grip. The remains of a military blaster. Civilians don't have access to such technologies. If you try to assemble such a weapon, I will be forced to send a report to proper authorities through the damaged communication channel in your suit. Hmm. I could break this generator if I wanted to for some reason. Oops. I meant to I meant to break and hit tab, but that does in fact mean alt tab. Oops. Let's just drop that. It's definitely one of the Breath Edge Agency coffins, but its ID is missing in my database. And it has arms. That looks disturbingly familiar. Document fragment. A burnt piece of a once-secret document that reveals some information about the core of the liner unnamed. The newspapers never mentioned the fact of using modern technologies. Yeah, this is supposed to be a retro cruise. Classified. Will not be used even with such an advantage. When creating the core, we used all our developments in the field of quantum physics, as well as the enriched E14P alloy. The potential power of the core exceeded the bounds of the initial calculations. We're on the verge of discovering a hyperspace engine. However, at the moment, we do not even have the technology for a spaceship that can withstand a hyperspace jump. The liner unnamed should 
successfully pass field tests, and to give us an answer about the stability of the core. We're 200% certain that this experiment will be a success. Otherwise, we would not endanger the lives of passengers. However, even if... And then it's burned off. So it's not the size that makes the liner unnamed unique, but its latest energy core. Maybe that's what drew the attention of the Green Universe Radicals? We'd better forget this classified information. Yep, yep, I'll, I'll just go get the uh, crap imposed by the developers, and I'll uh, give myself a nice, good, solid beating, and uh, and we'll see. Yes, I, I'm, I'm not going to put that up on... Well, I, I guess I do have a conspiracy wall, but no. No, I'm not going to put that up on there. That's just that's just implicating myself. So Looks like console. you're not the only one who's fond of destroying important equipment. Now I can't even connect to this panel. What's left now is to break the rest of the stuff around here, and there's a chance that this will activate some core protection protocol. Or, alternatively, kill someone in this room. Well, hopefully it won't be me. Of course, that means we're not alone. Okay... Guess the generator's also on the list. Well, it's a good thing we're real good at breaking stuff. This is really our calling. Tough old bird of a generator. Oof. Switch off engine power plug. Oh. I, I guess I could have just done that. <laughs> Oops. Eh, well, he said break it. Commander-in-Chief's order? The Green Universe has always been a rather uncoordinated organization. Despite the presence of a leader, there was no serious coordination in their actions up to this point. To the leader of the second attack group, get into the service module of the liner and grant access to subject number 0-829HZ. Do not offer any resistance to the subject. Green Universe, Commander-in-Chief. Green. Suit's got nothing to say for that. Hmm. Well, that's worthy of the conspiracy wall, I guess. Yeah, that other thing is, uh, likely to just get me in hot water. And then again, I have secret biological experiments up on the wall, too. The real reason is I dropped it and now it seems to be lost. In any case. Yeah, those went down easy. Aha. A decrease in the core's activity detected. It looks like you were able to start the protection protocol, although the ship's documentation says it's only possible during a natural disaster. You've got talent. And it's all natural. Yeah. There ain't no performance enhancing drugs that can uh, that can get this level of performance, baby. Mm -hmm. Well, we cannot deny the fact that Green Universe was involved in the crash of the liner, but some details in their behavior and death don't correspond to the modus operandi of the attack. Yeah. Not to mention, like, I know they say 200% sure that everything's gonna be fine, but, uh, yeah, 200% sure really often ain't all that good. Not when it comes to untested technology on an untested liner. There's too many unknowns. Well, it looks like we've managed some good work here over at the Knight Errant. We've got two of our objectives solved. And we should be relatively close to the cinema over here. So I guess let's push forward and see if we can find a base to work on exploring that area. Or, yeah, this... What is that, a kettle ball? Hmm. That was... Babe said she spotted a giant man around here, right? Maybe she meant giant as in muscle, not giant as in fat, like I assume. A large part of the mayonnaise is frozen, but there is some strange activity in some of the balls. If it really is mayo, as indicated in the invoices. Looks like the mayo tanks weren't only on the port side. There's a chance to find something here that can be launched into the core. Hmm. 
So, Suit's original plan about the mayonnaise might... So, I guess that, yes, it must have really been a fat person then. If this is the industrial mayonnaise tanker section. Underpants with studs? No. Oh. Boy, <laughs> the spacesuit can sincerely consider this to be clothes for working with a soldering iron. There is no sense in telling it about a whole layer of perverted culture. Oh, boy. All the beating on just one side, too. Underpants designed for working with a soldering iron. Solder studs, inner pocket for flux, and durable outer coating. Very practical, although I might be wrong about the purpose of this clothing. No, you're you're not wrong. We 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 won't discuss that to your uh, naive innocent. We we won't ruin you. Not yet. Yeah, let's see if I can find a place to top up air around here. Oh goodness, look at you. The cost of Breath Edge Agency funerals is the lowest on the market of funeral services. However, some people still prefer to bury their relatives in a slipshod manner. Well, Moskova Refrigerator? Moskva? It's for storing Moskvas, I guess. Yeah, nothing around here seems to be particularly intact. Enough to hold air. Well, I have a couple of candles on me that I picked up from the night errand. So I can make a nice long trip out of this. More fabric, please, and thank you. Not you. Yeah, I'm not seeing any oxygen stations or anything like that. This is working autonomous oxygen station. Aha! Uh -huh. Thank you. I have no idea who would need that amount of mayo in space, but we need to find a way to get this whole thing into the liner's core to reduce its activity. Well, you know... The victim may have tried to press the barbell with his Adam's apple, but this presumption may not be accurate. <laughs> you know, if you're gonna have sandwich supplies in space, you gotta just stock up on it. Alright, so, we have a nice forward base in this area after all, and we found it just in time. So, what's next is to just figure out how to activate this mayonnaise, I suppose. It's not a musical instrument I'm familiar with, I'm afraid. Hmm. Classic weightlift, classic equipment for weightlifting. It helps to develop almost any major muscle groups, if it's not just lying around in the garage, of course. <laughs> they use the electrical tape. Well, I'm, I'm not sure if that is just secured with the tape, or if they're using the tape itself as the weights. That much of it would be pretty heavy, I suppose. I would say it's impressive that we can just lift it up, but we're in space. It'll only be impressive once we get back into a gravity well. Hmm, workout bench. Okay, why not? Kettleball? Well, at least he died getting a nice burn in. You know, he, he got he got his last few reps in, I'm sure. Mr. Olympus. 2066. One of the last bodybuilders of the century. The limitation of protein foods, lack of necessary pharmacology, and unified clothing sizes managed to defeat even such sturdy guys. Tragedy. Before, after, 172 kilograms, 118, 127, 113. Well, so is this just measuring four people, or is this a progression that he just didn't know how to fill out correctly? I mean, if that is a progression, it's impressive-ish. If you were trying to lose a belly and not gain muscle. Huh, inventory full.
A 16 kilogram kettlebell. It's not so difficult to lift it in zero gravity, but you will definitely strain something on Earth. And I need to leave that because I just got nothing. Hmm. I am out of space. Well, I can drink some water, I suppose. So yeah, let's see if that's anything to... Uh... 16 kilograms of metal that never became the ship's plating. I know, right? And let's see if he has anything to say about this. Bodybuilding is a sports culture of the past. It died together with its followers because they loved to tear their spacesuit to demonstrate their muscles. Yeah, that's, that's kind of just natural selection there at that point. Well then. Ooh, the mayonnaise is still liquid? How? Can't, can't A very I... odd composition, but apparently this mayo doesn't want to freeze. There's also no danger to the spacesuit's material, but I'm not sure it's reasonable to stay here with such visibility. In addition, the composition's density prevents you from moving quickly. Neat. Well, I have an analyzer. I might be able to do something with that. Nothing of interest. Okay. Oof, it blinds you. Wow. Hmm? Top prefabricated models in this issue grandpa's dream a complete guide to how to glue a model a magazine with attractive girls and sticky pages it's better not to touch it without a spacesuit although even in in a, in a spacesuit it's not recommended to do so it's clearly sticky from the glue obviously in this issue, a 16-page step-by-step picture guide where professional models demonstrate how to assemble a legendary car model. A brief history of the car's creation, an interview with the chief engineer of the International Non-Space Factory, and the poster of Grandpa's Dream. A 20-page section with a catalog of all the models involved with the car's assembly. In the next issue, The Legend of the Domestic Automobile Industry, Dad's Wanderer, assemble and glue together a unique moldy rust color design model. <laughs> okay. Seems like it's not mayonnaise. I'm honestly astounded you can discern that. Your powers of observation are incredible, Suit. Wow. It looks like that toilet's gone from suck to blow. And it's all in the mayonnaise. Well, let's just get out of this. Yeah, just pick a direction and keep on going. You'll reach the surface eventually. That's how to deal with being lost in a ball of mayonnaise. Which isn't a problem I thought I would have to learn how to solve today. But you just take what lessons you can get in a day. of this looks like it's frozen yeah so some of the mayonnaise is frozen it's just that one ball that's different oh no there's more nothing of interest well I'll be the judge of that underpants stained with paint <laughs> Neat. Judging by the paint stains, the owner of the underpants was pushed from behind. Sure. Who did it? Why did they do it? And where did they push the owner? And how did the underpants get separated from the body? Will remain a mystery forever. Let's... 
drink some more water, eat some more food, get some more space. Suit has nothing to say. Now this is a real tiny one. Hmm. Well, this tube is lined up right, right, uh, yeah, right, pointing towards the core. More fabric. Less scrapper. So what? What a strange gonna... place. But maybe we can find something useful here. Maybe. If we could just find ourselves a nice big mass driver, although it's all liquid. If we could find ourselves a great big hose. Mm. Hello. A ZAZ-1 in cherry condition. Well, not quite cherry. It looks like it was being worked on. Still... Free blueprint. I will not complain. Especially since that one was a real expensive one. Sure, let's burn a candle. Work through some of our excess inventory and just keep on looting as we go. Well, let's keep on exploring the mayonnaise zone. Got to be some sort of a hint in here. Probably in one of these great big balls of mayo. I'm not sure about the composition of modern mayo products, and therefore I advise you to be careful. Their current physical properties are unknown. Someone tried to take a bath in a drinking boiler without reading about the emergency water pumping system starting when waste gets into it. Both were sucked into death. The water contains alkaline detergents and aromatic salts. Can't be cleaned. Hmm. Rubber duck. An ordinary rubber duck. It seems someone forgot to add some information about it to the spacesuit's database. You can find this description in written sources. This is a ritualistic object of the water cult. Ah, yes. Of course, as we all know. Well, if this thing weren't frozen over, an auto pump would be promising for our purposes. Nothing of interest. I'll be the judge of that. This looks like it really might be nothing of interest. Not even a new pair of underpants. Nothing of interest. Yep, yeah, let's turn around and... Get out of here. found a wall. We might just be lost in the mayonnaise. Which, isn't that a wonderful, horrible fate? Wrong button. Moving, as I can tell from uh, my distance markers. Yeah. No, I should have targeted the bike, but I didn't immediately see it on looking around, I guess. How about that area down there? Anything we can do with that big piece of whatever it is? 
On such old docking airlocks, there must be some detailed information on how to disassemble, maintain, and repair them. Probably. Probably. Docking airlock. Okay. Shuttle airlock. So we got a blueprint for a car and a nice... Nice dock. Okay. That's kind of exciting. Where's the bike? There's the bike. In the case of too many markers getting visually confused. Oh, well there's a fist marker over there. Let's let's just follow that instead of rooting out through the mayonnaise. The fist marker is probably a bit more helpful than my random wandering. Probably. There must be some control systems inside. If the airlock isn't damaged, then we need to find it. Get into the tank, start the engine, somehow leave before it starts, and hope that when flying away, the tank will collect at least some part of the flowing spilled mayo. Yeah, that sounds like a possibility. What's this? Broken engine, eh? engine required. Okay. So I'm gonna need to make some replacement engines, I suppose. And also we need to see if we can get in. Oh. Anything to say about this one? Solids detected. Oh! And not in the other ones that we found very solid things inside of? I suppose this is Seems like the gas a coming bit into more the mail doesn't let it freeze. Yeah. I have a feeling that something is wrong with this mayonnaise. Apart from the inconsistency of its composition, overly complex technologies are used to transport such biological debris. Although, all the tanks are specified as mayonnaise ones in all the invoices related to the liner. Yeah. It's at least the right color. Doesn't look like it's the right consistency. It's way too thin. We, we, we go through it so easily. And it's partially transparent. This vacuum cleaner is called Rocket for a reason. With it having such a powerful engine, it is really possible to fly it if you bypass some technical limitations. So is that just another means of getting the Rocket vacuum cleaner? We've discovered that several times over by now. Someone clearly overestimated the value of the mayonnaise, allocating an autonomous tank board equipped with an auto-flight system. Although, considering our situation, it's a great opportunity to launch it without any problems by fixing one of the engines and disengaging the tank from the module. Unbelievable. This is heaven knows what. But it's certainly not a simple tank for storing food products. Yeah. This looks like some sort of weird plasma, almost. Definitely has magnetic properties, the way the things are floating around it. A detailed plan of the transport module. Mmm, but I don't have a scanner anymore. Shoot. So I'm going to need to come back here at least one more time. Well, knowing my luck, I'll be missing a tool to get farther in. Good gravy. Yeah, that ain't mayonnaise. I think even superheated and coated in electricity, mayonnaise wouldn't move that fast. I think they would probably be starting to denature and crisp up.
I bring you an offering, great blob. A snarky spacesuit. Does this please you, oh blob god? All data indicate that the mayonnaise is not mayonnaise, and the tank was an integral part of the systems of the lighter unnamed. We have to start the centrifuge, even just out of scientific interest. Yeah. Engine damage detected. We need to go outside and check the tank engines. Cancelled. Yeah, well, we already know that they need replacement. I, I imagine I probably missed dialogue by skipping ahead. Examine the center. A special patch and a bloated spacesuit indicating increased gas production due to excessive broccoli eating. All this points out that the body belongs to the Green Universe Radical Group. If the possible moral constraints are no problem, this bag of methane, hydrogen, and organic residues could be used to provide initial acceleration to the centrifuge. You only need to figure out how to do it. Wow, okay. Igniter required. <laughs> well, I mean... I imagine the outgassing of a bloated corpse will do just fine as a fuel. Especially one that's already so primed. the centrifuge even do, though? How will it help us? Mysterious. The plot really is thickening. Fascinating. So where was that really close thing I was catching glimpses of? That's just resin. That's probably another engine piece, I imagine. Yeah, this almost looks like the interior of a tokamak. Is this the really advanced energy core that the other place was talking about? In which case, the mayonnaise is some sort of... advanced, like, hypermatter core energy? Some sort of spatial warping material. So yes, I need to make a scanner. Goodness gracious. Hmm. Have I been touched by Vorlons by swimming through that stuff? Another of that case N. Isn't that something we saw before? Well, I guess that just for the sake of completion, I should scan that just to get the marker off. Well, back to the old base it is. Blech. I'm even more disturbed to go through this stuff now. Yeah, this just feels not just gross, but worrying. Is my soul being irradiated? Not my body, clearly. We, we have a radiation detector, but heaven knows what space magic this stuff runs off of. Do I have a fuel can on me? No. Well, actually, you know what? I think that this might actually be a fairly good place to end for the day. We've done some solid plot advancement. We've got a whole mess of materials that I'm going to have to spend some time finding a place for when I get back to base. So, I will get back to base, I will sort everything away, and I will see...